I hope I will be remembered for my work on black holes and the origin of the universe, not for things like appearing on The Simpsons. Feel bad, Lisa. Sometimes the smartest of us can be the most childish. Even you? No. start seeking alternative planets for possible habitation. We are running out of space on Earth, and we need to break through the technological limitations, preventing us living elsewhere in the universe. I think my celebrity has a lot to do with my condition. People are fascinated by the contrast between my physical weakness and the vast scale of the problems with which I deal. I fit the stereotype of a disabled genius, though I'm not a genius like Einstein. I have been asked to address you today on the role of Earth and humans in the context of the universe. I can best do this by reflecting on humanity's future. One reason is that the Earth is becoming too small for us. In the last 200 years the growth has become exponential, that is, the population grows by the same percentage each year. Currently, the rate is about 1.9% a year. This may not sound very much, but it means that the world population doubles every 40 years. I will celebrate my 80th birthday in 2022, and in my lifetime, the world's population has quadrupled. This exponential growth cannot continue into the next millennium. By the year 2600, the world's population would be standing shoulder to shoulder. And the electricity consumption would make the Earth glow red hot. This is untenable. But I am an optimist. I believe we can avoid this potential for Armageddon. And the best way for us to do this, is to move out into space, and explore the potential for humans to live on other planets.